I copied yours. Uh, that's right. My life. <laughs> that's why I said good haircut. I'm Sarah Antimboli speaking for the first time in session. Judges and peer, please communication once you're ready. Our soldiers are people who sacrifice their time, time with their families, and sometimes even their lives. So it's our duty that they can come back home, spend time with their children, and be with them with them during their milestones in life. So, Senators, in order to let these soldiers come back home, please join me in the affirmation of this bill. My first point is, joint strikes are regulated just as fighter jets. According to The Guardian, quote, pilots follow the law of armed conflict and the rules of engagement in exactly the same way as manned aircraft. The decision-making process leading to the identification and engagement of targets is identical to, for uh, conventionally manned aircraft. The point that drones are, um, that are unregulated is completely bogus because when an attack is happening, there's a room full of generals and advisors who are there trying to make sure that this surgical strike is as precise as it can be. Additionally, the Guardian also states, quote, but more than this, the greater access of information our pilots have through a combination of the aircraft's onboard sensors and the ability of, to access onboard uh, information, which means those who are best informed and least pressured of all our air crew are those who are making these critical um, decisions about when to strike. Senators, drones are the future because they allow these um, pilots to take this very risky um, attack casually and they know to how to make the right decision. Additionally, drones make U.S. personnel safer. According to the NY Times, the ground that Al-Qaeda and other terrorist organizations like to operate in are places that are hard to reach by special forces and come with all the difficulties of boots on the ground operations like shootouts with sur uh, surrounding tribal communities, anti-aircraft shelling, landmines, improvised explosions or AKIDDs, suicide bombers, snipers and dangerous weather conditions. Senators, drones are the only way that can help reduce loss of life on our side and on the other side because drones are as regulated if not more like regulated than conventional manned aircraft so drones are making sure more people are coming back safely on both sides and one of the um, the previous senators said that oh these kill more civilians but a that's not true because in the Korean War which uh, where fighter jets are being used they killed um, s near seven times more civilians than in Iraq and Iran, uh, in Iraq, um, in Iraq. So, senators, to save lives on both sides, please join me in affirmation of this bill. Thank you. We have another six seconds. Questions? Senator, Bruder reported that of the 500 activists that the CIA believed it killed with drones. Only 14 were top tier militant targets and 25 were mid to high level organizers. This means that we are killing so many innocent civilians. So what do you have to say about this? Senator, do you understand how hard it is to find a top tier general? We have, tr we have been trying to find Osama bin Laden for nearly six months. So it's not easy to find these, hard, uh, these generals um, because they're hiding in very uh, elaborate situations. So it's hard to even reach these people. Okay, sure. Uh, uh, Senator, do you have a statistic about how many U.S. personnel have been lost in surgical strikes? Uh, sir, by surgical strikes, do you mean drone strikes? No, but just surgical man manpower strikes. That is, um, I do not have the statistic, but it's probably classified because that is a way that, um, yeah, it's probably classified. Okay, Vedant Srihit, question. No? Sure. Senator, in my previous question, I wasn't talking about how many top-tier militant targets we killed. I was talking about the innocent civilian lives we were taking. Senator, um, as I said in my speech, um, nearly 70 per, um, the amount of civilian uh, casualties in the Korean War 
um, was nearly 70%. And the reason why I'm comparing it to the Korean War is because that is the time where we had uh, fire jets as the main use. So we're com I'm comparing how drone strikes versus fighter jets, and clearly drone strikes are more um, uh, are helping reduce civilian casualties. And the main reason why they're doing that is because they're surrounded by military generals, and they have more sensors on board on the drone than they would have on a regular fighter jet. Thus, it's more easy. It's easier to conduct a surgical strike through a drone than it is to f uh, do it through a fighter jet. Thus, less civilians are killed. Okay. Uh, Senator, just to uh, go off my previous question, uh, no uh, CO members were killed when uh, performing a surgical strike on Osama bin Laden. Uh, this can be shown by other surgical strikes before in history. Uh, you keep mentioning fighter jets. Why can't surgical strikes by personnel be, uh, be conducted more often over drones? Senator, not everyone in our uh, military are SEALs. They're not that, not everyone is as, um, uh, as experienced and well trained as the, our seals, our seals are used when there is no other better option, and we're going after a high value target. These seals are our backup when we cannot fire these missiles because there would probably be heavy uh, civilian casualties. All right, thank you, Senator.